What's up, YouTube? It's Rambler Cards 88 back again with another video. Today is our first comic book video. I didn't buy any new comic books or anything, but I haven't done one yet. And I want to kind of just cover a bunch of stuff I like to do on this channel. It's not just cards. So in the back there, we got our sweet Street Fighter Chung Lee. And then we got an awesome Spider Man first all new collector's item issue uh, torment. I really don't know that much about comics. Um, I think this one's a pretty nice one from what I understand. Um, but anyways, most of my comics are just bought at garage sales or given to me by friends and stuff throughout the years. And not a giant collection, but I'd like to build it up more. And um, if anybody sees anything that, you know, they know something about that I absolutely don't, let me know in the comments below, please. And so anyways, I just got a few few of my comic books that I really like set aside here. And I thought I'd just show them off. And anyway, first one is uh, this 1980, I think it's 84 or something. Um, Superman, I just love it because it, it looks a lot older than 84. Like if it were, say, um, you know. Like a 1960 something with that kind of artwork, you might you might actually believe it, maybe not, but it's pretty beat up. It's not in great condition. All the corners are kind of smashed, and um, that's how it was when I got it. And so, like I said, I read a lot of my comics when I have the chance. Pretty nice to to read them. They're they're just different. Um, it's kind of simpler to read them and one of my favorite things about the old comics is um they have a lot of good ads in them maybe not this one but well look at that prepare for tomorrow with a radio shack trs 80 color computer today only 3.99 3.99 in the mid to early 80s that had to have been a lot of money and um look at what she's doing there it's like a music tuning she's got kind of a joystick pretty much looks like a commodore i think that's what that is anyway still pretty sweet superman comic we got this old punisher um, I do have a decent amount of Punisher comics. Um, again, just another bunch of comics uh, that a box for a certain price at a garage sale. And so, could not pass it up with the price that I got them for. Incredible ad. The oldest Eminem ad. Free baseball player card pack in, in cards in six packs. 1987. So it's about a year older than I am. Zittles. OxyClean. Well, again, the ads are just. Sweet Stripes Ahoy. <clears throat> but Punisher comics are much better than any of the movies or anything, if you ask me, or the shows or whatnot. But um, one of my favorite movie series of all times is Robocop. And I have a few of these RoboCop comics. I didn't even know these were a thing. A, a good buddy of mine is pretty into comics. And um, he got a hold of a bunch of them. And he had some doubles. And so he just ended up hooking me up with a handful of them. And then since then, I've been able to get um, a couple more. Nothing special. I'd like to start maybe getting into some of the graded comics or maybe... You know, see if anything I have is worth grading. I'm sure flipping through them is probably not the greatest thing. But, you know, I own these for this purpose. I don't own them to collect them. 
And considering, you know, how old some of them are, they seem to be in pretty nice condition. This one might be one of the better ones. Now that, that is some ad right there. Look at that. Mario and the Princess. Wow. Bubble baths and shampoos. Super Mario bubble bath. See, I feel like if they still had this stuff going today, it'd be pretty popular. You don't, you're not really seeing a ton of Super Mario bubble baths around. Uh, maybe I'm not looking. I'm not looking in the bubble bath uh, section at the grocery store. But, um, whoa. The art of basketball. Those old skybox cards. Wow. Some of the Jordan Skybox cards in good condition like that are pew, through the roof. Robocop, the future of law enforcement. All right, moving on. We've got X Men. Giant sized annual. Not going to rifle through all of them. That would be just a long, long video. Anyways, just showing off some of my favorite ones. This is definitely some really cool artwork on the front. On a good day, I can name most of these people. But um, I'm not even going to try today. You can see some of the old guys up there. Look how um, old school some of them look. Like uh, I think that's Storm with the mohawk on the top. But definitely Wolverine next to him and uh, Nightcrawler. Then one of my all-time favorite, definitely one of my most beat up, and one of my uh, I think it's one of the oldest ones I got. I'm not sure. To look and see if there's a date but this one the incredible hulk i don't know always been drawn towards the hulk since i was a little kid maybe just because he's a big old ogre and i was kind of a bigger boy growing up and so the incredible hulk was always awesome even the crappy movies that came out um you know back in the 2000s and stuff there Still, I watch them every once in a while just because it's cool to see, cool to see the Hulk. Watch the the TV series a few times and doesn't did not age well, but still. Very cool comic. I've read this one like ten times. Um, it's been a I don't know, probably like eight months since I've gone through it, but, um, oh, there we go. Basically just looking for the cool ads. Bubble Yum. It's interesting that it's got like a little, is that a word game? Yeah. Jeez. giant Popeye ad for Parker Brothers so it's a Popeye video game well I'm always into video games so let's see what which one is that for Atari 5200 Popeye oh my god how cool what an awesome two page ad in the middle of a comic book From what I understand, comic books were just like uh, cards in the 80s and, bef and before that where they were just at like every grocery store and stuff and they there were some around like that when I was little but not, not much. Um, I was fortunate enough to have a, a bookstore next to the grocery store. We, oh there we go, 
another um another game it looks like and yep atari 2600 <laughs> oh man this return of the jedi incredible incredible wow primitive gaming to the max all right one more incredible hulk i like this one just because of the incredibly um awkward artwork there it just doesn't look like the greatest hulk right on the cover um but nonetheless definitely have to keep it it's one of my favorites sometimes i keep these on display gotten nice um issue of spider-man let's go ahead and go through this one real quick and then we got one more which is probably my favorite one uh this the the next one or um spider-man you know maybe one of those hulks are pretty sweet too but So this old Spider-Man starts right off with a Cracker Jack auto. You don't see those around. Do they still make Cracker Jacks? You know, I'm not that old, but I ate some Cracker Jacks. Got a couple whistle rings and whatever, decoder rings. I don't know if I've read this one. Looks kind of boring. And there's another Bubble Yum ad. They really push that Bubble Yum on these kids. Give them all cavities. <laughs> um, G.I. Joe video game. Wow. So as soon as video games, you know, got in the household, they seen kids are reading comics. It just, it just pushed them right into... Um, Pushed them right into uh, the the comic. It's, so it's, <laughs> excuse me, fumbling my words. But um, these two-page ads are ridiculous for these games. And so I, I couldn't imagine. Yeah, of course, in 1983, you didn't have anything else to do but read this comic and then beg your parents for that game in there all year long. And then the funniest thing, too, is these these weird um they're almost like the back of those old school penny ads or like auto trader magazines you know you're looking for a used car and so um <laughs> an atlas body in seven days what is that doing in a comic book that's meant for kids what is going on oh that's the good one that'll get you in shape from winter to skinny, or from from skinny to winter. Wait on for a winning body. Does not being in shape means you're not a winner, apparently. Anyway, there we go. Somebody, wow, the guy, maybe the guy that I got these from. I know I, I know I've seen that in one of them, but. Who would glue something into a comic book? Especially over a really cool Tron game ad. 1982. Okay. Final. Final comic book coming up. This one's a little thicker. That's what she said. It is a pretty, pretty amazing one. I was just uh, excited when I saw this. So we got Batman. No surprise there. You know, Batman's pretty cool. Some Batman. Not all adaptations are good, but some Batman's pretty cool. But we got the Beast himself. Batman Spawn War Devil. It's almost like a book. Graphic novel. Very cool. 
very cool. Like it's it's I kind of wish they would have gone all out and made it like a tabletop kind of um there we go. That's a nice shot, no glare. Made it like a tabletop kind of book. Um just because it's so unique. I mean Batman and Spawn in the same universe, it's an it's just something I could have never never really thought of um before I saw this. It's a really good picture of Spawn there. Without the mask. Um, And that's probably like the coolest picture in this whole thing. Spawn with all the chains out, just going after Batman. It's pretty obvious he'd win. I mean, millionaire can't take on a a guy coming up from from hell, but. And they end up teaming up and fighting the real bad guy. Because Spawn's not that bad. Anyway. Amazing artwork. Extremely cool comic. Good job. Good job on this one, for sure. Well, you might have made it to the end of another one of my videos. Uh, if you did, thanks a lot. Please take the time to hit that like and subscribe button. This was the first comic book video. I hope to have many, many more. And then we're going to throw some video games in here real soon. And a uh, whole bunch more cards to come, too. Uh, before I go, one last thing. One of my, well, my best friend... Um, he actually was the minister at our wedding. He gave me these for my birthday. They're a couple pins. Um, that is, um, they're both Ren and Stimpy. What they did was they incorporated Alien and Predator. So we got Alien first Predator Ren and Stimpy pins. Super duper unique. Couldn't believe it. I think he ended up getting uh, a pair for him and a pair for me. Pretty sweet pins. I'm not really a pin guy, but um, awesome. You know, when are you ever going to see that? They need to make t-shirts of it. Anyways, have a great day. Hope you had a, hope you had a good weekend. And uh, thanks for watching.